slick way you try to be on with every hit and every tone. It's more you, like life, you try to be on a person next to you. So like for me it's Medina and yeah. vice versa. I got a hole in my That's what we tried to do in the on the second album to really uh, get the the life feeling on the record. That's the main aim, so it's mm -hmm. pretty great. We had a Skype session, a very nice talking session, and um, knew that it was going to be a good combination coming here. Having a drummer, like little, and you had a, a guitarist that like makes the thing. Yeah, yeah, that's perfect. It was a Really good match for both of us recording with Miko and Little. <laughs> we were on tour in 2014 with Courtney Love, and Miko Larkin has been playing guitar in, in Courtney Love's band for years now. One day he jumped into the backstage room with two guitars in his hands <laughs> and he's like, Medina, I want to play Can't Stop with you. Can you show me the riff? And that's how the whole connection started, like sharing the stage together. Let's go for one more, but it is really close. It is really close. I'm going to turn you off because I don't want to listen to you anymore. I'm joking. Because he uh, gets us, he, he knows what it is yeah. uh, yes. in our heads and we could feel that like in the said, while playing live shows with him. And also the recordings, I mean all the guys also paid the, the crew of the five people. Uh, it was great to work together. We had all kinds of emotions as well during the recordings. I mean, there were funny moments, there were <coughs> shitty moments, there were you don't know what it is moments. And yeah. Um, <laughs> yeah. it was never the way that we went into the studio and we felt like uh, we are under pressure. Yeah. It has never been like that. And I think that also shows on the record that we felt uh, pretty relaxed while doing all that. Yeah, you got overwhelmed Like a little bitch Geil! Super geil! Um, one hit in a gang. Yeah, Alright. I always had like three mics in front of me so we could like find the perfect mic for my voice and if one is really good you put that louder or you choose this one Tranquilize never had such much gear or support from like there from little from his studio what he got in the studio and then all his friends like music school or uh, drum shops or just the drummers I think it was like 11 snare drums or <laughs> something like that I use an AB box for my guitar amp and a bass amplifier. I can like switch them around, like just bass, just guitar, or both. And we had a, a dry signal from the bass, then a distortion signal combined with a POG pedal. So it made like an 
cave sound kind of thing for the bass sound. And the guitar sound uh, was my Vox amplifier with another Vox amp. So there were four tracks for one guitar. It's really cool, yeah. Cool. And we used uh, loads of different pedals, like different fuzz sounds. Finally, this record is breathing. We recorded on a tape machine. Dude, we really recorded on a tape, tape machine, machine yeah. right? He comes over to you when he rewinds the tape and then says, Come on over here, come on over here. Smell that tape. <laughs> Smell that tape, right? It is kind of magic for us, yeah. for new bands in, in the year 2000 or whatever, right? Mm. Uh, because you're normally not used to it or you don't have the chance to uh, record on a tape machine. That was great. Nobody has these monitors at home to listen to. And uh, so it was great to be able to switch uh, between these monitors and yes. really get an idea. The coolest thing was to be part of it and now to be at the final mix that everybody is happy with. It's awesome and it sounds really, really massive. <laughs> <laughs> nice.